Alrighty, so, uh, all right, so real quick, uh, I started building this shelter a few days ago, uh, and I filmed it, uh, and, and I don't put my videos up directly uh, the same day that I film them. Usually, it takes a couple days uh, for my videos to, to cycle through. But uh, the day that I was uh, talking about uh, not having that axe yet, uh, and, and wishing that I'd had it. Uh, that, that happened two, three days ago. And uh, it was yesterday, I think it was, I got an email, or no, I take that back. I got a message on one of my videos that uh, they said my ax was ready and uh, uh, to email them. So I emailed them and they said they were gonna send me some pictures or something. I haven't seen it yet, but I can't wait. Uh, but that was yesterday when I when I got that message and uh, last night uh, I posted the video that I that you guys are the latest video that you guys had watched was the first first uh, uh, part of this build here so uh, yeah I posted that video uh, or I made that video like two days before I got the message that the axe was ready so uh, I find that I find that interesting. Anyway, uh, I did bring a couple things with me down here today. Uh, I brought this old janky axe that uh, that I have lying around, and uh, I don't know if it's going to be handy, but I brought it with me today. And also, I got myself a rake. I'm going to start raking up some leaves, and after I build further on that, I'm going to start raking up some leaves. Uh, I've I've shown myself I, I've shown myself that I can come out here and I can build a survival emergency shelter with absolutely no gear. I've I've shown myself that I can do that if I have to. So I'm I feel comfortable and 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 uh, 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 safe in the assumption that that I can do it again. So now I'm going to start bringing gear and start doing things with a little more gear since uh, I've, I've actually been able to show myself that I can do that for sure without a doubt. So uh, let's... Uh
Alrighty, so, uh, I don't know, I've been out here for, I don't know, couldn't tell you, 45 minutes, maybe, maybe longer, but, uh, I've got some more sticks laid, and, uh, I think, to be totally honest, that's going to be enough for now. As you can see, it's definitely a lot bigger, Ooh, ran into the tree, definitely a lot bigger than it was. That will be plenty long enough for me and my gear. So uh, I'm going to take that rake and I'm going to start raking up uh, leaves and I'm going to start throwing leaves up there and I'll get back with you when uh, I get more of that done. Alrighty, I took this off, little nice little V-notch here. Hopefully I can use that maybe to help set up a bed or something. I cut it off the edge there and I don't know, toss it right here. But uh, I think I'm pretty well, I don't know, semi done with, uh, with the shelter. Uh, I maybe worked on it for another half hour, 45 minutes. So uh, all together, I probably worked on it for about two, two hours maybe, maybe three total and uh, I did it over a two-day period first day of course I, I made it well enough that I could have actually stayed in it overnight if I had to but uh, I enlarged it a little bit so that it would accommodate me laying long ways and uh, a little bit of gear so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little circle and maybe talk a little bit about it and uh, then we'll move on to something else. Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, I couldn't tell you how long it is, but uh, you can see that tree standing right there. That tree right there. That's where I ended it the last time. So I added a, a few feet there, which I think will be long enough for me to get in there and lay long ways. I haven't gotten up in there yet. I don't want to get horribly dirty today. Last time I had to I had to go straight home, jump in the shower, and uh, spend some time in there because I got really dirty. But uh, here we go. Do a little circle here. So uh, I do have a tarp in the van. I just I don't really want to put that one out here. I want to use that for something else. Uh, I have a tarp at home that I plan on using for this. So. I'll bring it out the next time I come out here and maybe lay it down to move underneath this tree and this tree is awesome I mean it's it fell like this so this little tree here fell right into that notch and then it broke down over there and the way it was twisted it made a perfect little place for the shelter but uh, here's the back of it and again you know, I can throw more leaves on it as necessary. I and mean, this area right here probably could use a, a clump of leaves right here at the very bottom. But right now, I'm not really worrying too much about it. And as you can see, the top there, not too bad. Like I said, I'm sure it's going to need more leaves. And then, of course, here's the side that I've got pretty much completed. I'm going to leave it as is unless it gets a, a horrible amount of rain through there which I don't really see happening because it's gonna have to go through those little trees and uh, I don't see these trees budding up any uh, down there but they may a little bit and that'll stop a lot of the a lot of the rain and stuff from getting in but it'll also allow for uh, ventilation but uh, I like it to be totally honest I'm really proud of it uh, it like I said, it's it's an emergency shelter. Uh, I did I do think I've improved it enough so that I would consider it a little better than a, than an emergency shelter. Uh, I, I do think that I've improved it enough by making it larger and adding more leaves that I think I could upgrade it a bit to just a a normal short term shelter. But, uh, go over here move my tripod back a tad bit and uh, here we go back to the front 
I really do like that. And it's uh, it's tall enough on this end where I could actually sit up. Uh, and I do hope to set up a small fire. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, starting out with may maybe like a Dakota fire pit uh, somewhere right up in there maybe. I don't know. Uh, out front here. I'm going to go get some uh, rocks. There's not really too many around here, but I have a, a rock fire pit at my house that uh, I used for uh, um, some videos that I made a shelter in my backyard. Uh, I tore that down and the rocks are really just sitting out there. Ooh, a hawk. Very nice. Anyway, <laughs> oh look, a cat. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the rocks. Uh, right now, they're just sitting out there and the only thing they're doing is causing Violet to get tangled up into them and then I gotta go out there and untangle her and it's just not fun. So, I'm gonna move those. Now, uh, this does not hold any fish. It's just a, a little swampy area. There's no fish in here. I'm pretty sure that it'll be mosquito ridden uh, at some point, but in all honesty, uh, there's not going to be any place out here that's not when the mosquitoes show up. So uh, I know it's a little too close to this little swampy area, but uh, that just happened to be where the log is laying, and uh, that just happened to be where I built the shelter, so that's just where it's at. Uh, sometimes you can't uh, get the perfect spot. Sometimes you have to accept what is given to you by nature and this is what nature gave me and this is what I'm accepting. So uh, if I have to, I've got some netting and I can run net along the front of that if, if necessary. Uh, I'm still debating on what to do about the side here, whether or not I'm going to actually make a little barrier like that here uh, or whether I won't I don't know if the if the rain comes in from that area it might get in the shelter but there's no way of protecting it from everything but I, I do think maybe I will put a side to that eventually but uh, right now I'm gonna call that as done as it's gonna get so as you can see the this little creek has uh, calmed down and uh, became a nice little I don't see any little minnows right here uh, I'm not going to be able to get across it unless I want to get wet and I don't really want to get wet right now and go chase hey look there's rocks right there I guess I could go over there and acquire some rocks but uh, to be totally honest I would rather just bring the ones from home just because I need to get rid of them but uh yeah, if need be, I come over here and get rocks for my fire pit. So anyway, uh, that hawk, which I'm assuming it's a red tail hawk. We have a lot of red tail hawks out here. Uh, it's out there somewhere in that field. But uh, we're going to head back to the shelter. And something else I considered is pulling up a lot of this ivy and throwing it on the shelter, on the top of the shelter, and see if any of it will start growing. And I think that would really help protect the shelter and camouflage it to some degree. But uh, I don't know whether I'll do that or not. So Okay, I'll show you what equipment I brought out today. Here's my tripod. I actually brought my actual tripod out today uh, I also brought my selfie stick a graphite rod and my bloggy uh, I did use it one time for uh, uh, carrying a log I, I placed it on the log to show the show that uh, I did bring out this axe and I did use it several several times uh, my phone, of course, because my wife demands that uh, I do that and I obey her. And I did bring the, the, the very bad, 
Mm. I'm so addicted. Soda. And I have been drinking on that. And uh, then again, here we go. Here's the view. Uh, right there is that log that I was working on. I still don't have it chopped completely up, but I'll, I'll work on it and I will use that. And uh, I hear a car. I hear a plane. Anyway, and there you go. You see that car? There we go. That uh, That's how close I am to the road. Let's see if I zoom in here and get my van. There's my van. Right there, it's parked on the side of the road. So I'm not horribly far away from a road. Uh, it's a small county road, and generally the only people that use it are the people that live out here. But it is there. Like I said, you know, I'm not... I'm not in the deep dark jungles of Indiana. Uh, I am around, generally around people uh, to some degree, but uh, this is private property and uh, belongs to my, uh, my wife's cousins and they are uh, nice enough to allow me to come out here and goof off. So I would like to thank them.